Okay, and then the next objective is like a terminology thing. Identify the degree, the leading term, and the leading coefficient of the following polynomial function. Yeah. So then I Googled it, actually. I was like, I know what's, but what's the nice way to write this? So a polynomial degree is the highest or the greatest power of a variable in the polynomial equation. So let's see. Here we have plus three. It's just three. And then we have two times x to the fifth, right? And then minus seven times x to the third. So five is bigger than three. So two x to the fifth is the highest power, right? So that's what we will call the leading term. 2x to the 5 is a leading term. The leading coefficient, coefficient is a number part, so that's 2, not the 5. Yeah, coefficient is what multiplies your variable. So the degree is going to be the power. So degree is 5. Leading term is 2 times x to the fifth, and the leading coefficient is the number 2. That's all. So the degree is five, the leading coefficient is two. And we're talking about the leading term. The leading coefficient? No, the leading term is like two x. The, the leading yeah, term. Two. Okay. Yeah, the term. Because you have like terms, right? It's like three is a term, two x to the, the five is a term, and minus seven x cubed is a term. But the leading term is the one that's related to the highest power. The highest power is the most important thing. So the okay. degree of the polynomial is the power. You know, so it's a power of five. So then that's a degree. So just to repeat what you just said, there are three terms in this. Three. This, yeah. this, this example, yes. We have three terms. So right? each, three, each of... two X to the fifth and negative seven X to the third. Those are the three yes. terms. Okay. The, leading, the leading term isn't the first, isn't necessarily the first term. The leading term is the term associated with the highest power. So okay. that is 2x to the fifth. Right. And then the leading coefficient is whatever the leading coefficient of that leading term is, and it's right. two. Right. Yep. Okay. Thank you. That's that's very clear. That's a bad you're ready for your course hearing next week. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. But yes. Uh, so we can let's do, let's get the whiteboard and just do some examples. Yeah, let's see. We can do like okay. Any, One second. Let's just do anything, right? If I say okay, f of x, it's like a t of f of x equals to, and I'm just going to write random stuff here, like seven x squared of minus one plus five x. Cute x. So how many terms this function has? It's got four terms, right? Uh, we are not going to ask really terms because it doesn't really matter that much, but it's got four terms. One, two, three, four terms. But the leading term is the highest power. And it's it's all kind of uh, it kind of makes sense because that's the one that's going to lead the end behavior. If you think about it, we just mentioned in the previous objective that the highest power is what determines where the number of kind of goes, right? So the highest power here we have is this one three. So this guy here is the leading term, uh, the leading term five x cubed, and then the degree the degree is hey, what's the power of x? So degree is three. The degree of the function is three. And the coefficient is, the leading coefficient is five. Why does it matter? Why do we care about the leading coefficient? Because like I told you, if the leading coefficient is a negative number, it will flip sometimes, right? The sign of the, the infinity thing is driven by the power of x, but whether it's going to go to positive infinity or negative infinity depends on whether the number that multiplies it is positive or negative. So this is why we sometimes need to know, we got to know, like if it's a, if it was negative, then we know it goes like flips a sign. If it's positive, it's not changing the sign. So the leading coefficient is also important. 
And then the other guys, they are low power. So we just kind of ignore them at the end behavior. It's not that important uh, for us when we describe end behavior. But again, like I told you before, you have to be careful that the leading term is not always the first term. Like not everybody writes it nicely from the highest power to the lowest power. So you have to be careful. Usually we would though, right? Because it's like, unless you really want to catch people on that little trick thing. Like, oh, I fooled you. It's not the first one. It's the last one or whatever. Like all the assessment questions on the, on the website that are already in order, I think. Uh, if we say another one, let's say, oh, let's do like take another, let's call it like uh, f of x equals to uh, 2x squared minus one. So then here, the leading term is 2x squared, the degree is two, but the coefficient is also two in this case. Yeah. Is that okay? All right, so that's it.